YouTube. Today is March the 2nd, 2016, and I go to school at a fantastic university that happens to be in a podunk little town in the mountains that does not have a used bookstore. I'm not sure how I've survived. So you can imagine how excited I got when the library decided to get rid of 80,000 of their old books and are now selling them to the students and the professors and the community and anybody who wants them at one cent per book. So far, I have purchased 15. However, five of them are not mine. They're for my father. They're math books. And I'm not going to talk about them because I don't really know what they are. So this is my book haul. This is Number Words and Number Symbols by Carl Menninger. It was originally published in German in 1958, and then this English edition came out in 1969. It's talking about words and symbols for numbers in different languages around the world, and how different cultures approach the idea of numbers differently. So it's a little bit math and a little bit linguistics and a little bit anthropology. Super cool. Continuing in the linguistics vein, we have a little skinny book called Synonymy and Linguistic Analysis. It is from 1973, and it's about linguistic analysis, as you would expect. Like, how two words in one language can be synonyms, but not in another language. Like, the, the connotations shift and stuff. I'm not totally sure, but it looked interesting, and I'm continuing in the linguistics vein. Language and linguistics! which I got mostly because of its hilarious 70s cover. It is from 1973, and it's just kind of like a general introduction to language and linguistics, which I have not yet had, despite having taken a handful of linguistics classes. What is linguistics? How does it work? How do we think about it? Sort of introduction. This has a bit of a misleading title. It's called Critical Miscellanies, which makes you think it's a book of random information, which is what I thought it was when I picked it up, because I really like books about random knowledge. However, what it is, is, first of all, printed kind of strangely in that it only takes up a very small amount of the page, and second of all, it's a biography of, like, a handful of authors and, like, essays about their lives. Not what I expected it to be, but I think kind of cooler than what I expected it to be. First published in 1923, this edition came out in the 70s, which is why it is not crumbling. Successful Women in the Sciences an analysis of determinants. So, like, why are women suddenly being successful in the sciences? Which is fairly topical, given that it was published in 1973. And it's a whole bunch of analytical essays about individual women and, like, how they became successful, which is super neat. This is just a cool book. Next, we have Lead Pencil by Burl Bot Beryl or Burl Botwink. They're short stories translated from Yiddish and illustrations, both by Botwink. And the illustrations are pretty nifty. So they're these really cool, like, pencil sketches and short stories, which I have not yet read, but they're very interesting looking. It was one of the few Jewish books there, and I was there at the same time as one of my friends from Hillel. And she was like, yeah, there were a whole bunch of Jewish books, and I took all of them. So, sorry, but she didn't notice this one because it doesn't say anything about Judaism on the cover. I was just like, lead pencil, what is that about? And it turned out to be Yiddish short stories. I got three books from the Harvard Classics Encyclopedia of Literature thing. I got A Thousand and One Arabian Nights, Continental Drama, which has Tartuffe in it, which I like, and a Racine play, which I haven't read anything by him, but he's a character in one of my favorite books, so I feel like I kind of owe it to the version of him in King of the Window, and Elizabethan drama, which is three Shakespeare plays and one play by Marlowe. And they claim to be copyright 1910, but they've got to be a more recent edition than that because the bindings are still very nice. Look at this! The 2014 novel and short story writer's market. Apparently two years is enough out of date to get rid of this thing. Well, good for me because most of these people are still going to be taking the same kinds of submissions, probably via the same means as they were two years ago. I've already started to annotate it. It will probably be quite a bit more annotated as it goes by. That's my haul. Because there are going to be more of these every Friday, I may end up doing another one of these videos just because I am going to have so many books. And I like talking about books. That's what I got for you today, Abe. I will see you on Saturday.